We're given f of x equals negative 4x plus 5. For part a, we're asked to find f of 2. To determine f of 2, we substitute 2 for x. f of 2 is equal to negative 4 times 2 plus 5, which equals negative 8 plus 5, which is negative 3. Next, we're asked to determine df dx at x equals 2. This is the same as determining f prime of 2. Let's first determine df dx or f prime of x. df dx, which again is the same as f prime of x, is equal to the derivative of negative 4x plus 5 with respect to x, which is negative 4 times the derivative of x, which is 1, plus the derivative of 5, which is 0, df dx or f prime of x is equal to the constant negative 4. Notice how regardless of the input, the derivative function values negative 4. This should make sense because f of x is a linear function. If we graph a tangent line to a line, we get the same line for the tangent line, and therefore the slope of the tangent line is the same as the slope of the line given by f of x, which is negative 4. This indicates f prime of 2 is equal to negative 4. Part c, we're asked to find the formula for x equals f inverse of y, then determine f inverse of negative 3. Notice here we're finding the inverse function as a function of y. To do this, we begin with f of x equals negative 4x plus 5, replace f of x with y, and then solve for x. We begin with y equals negative 4x plus 5. And now to solve for x, let's go ahead and add 4x to both sides and subtract y from both sides, which gives us 4x equals 5 minus y. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 4. On the right, we'll divide each term by 4. Simplifying, we have x equals 5 fourths minus 1 fourth y. x is f inverse of y. f inverse of y is 5 fourths minus 1 fourth y. Now we're asked to determine f inverse of negative 3. We learned in part a that f of 2 equals negative 3. And therefore, f inverse of y should map negative 3 back to positive 2. Let's go ahead and check. We substitute negative 3 for y in f inverse of y, which gives us 5 fourths minus 1 fourth times negative 3, which is equal to 5 fourths plus 3 fourths, which is 8 fourths, and 8 fourths is equal to 2. Notice f inverse of negative 3 is equal to positive 2. Finally, for part d, we're asked to determine df inverse dy at y equals f of 2. Let's first determine df inverse dy, which is f inverse prime of y. So again, we need to determine first df inverse dy, which is equal to f inverse prime of y, which is equal to the derivative of 5 fourths minus 1 fourth y with respect to y, not with respect to x, which gives us 0 minus 1 fourth times 1, or negative 1 fourth. Again, notice regardless of the input y, the output of the derivative function is negative 1 fourth. f inverse prime of f of 2, recall f of 2 is equal to negative 3, and then we can write this as f inverse prime of negative 3 is equal to, again, negative 1 fourth. So if we compare the derivative function value here of the inverse function, it's negative 1 fourth, and the derivative function value of the original function is negative 4, and notice there are reciprocals of one another, which is true. The slopes of the tangent lines, or derivative function values, of an invertible function and its inverse are always reciprocals at corresponding points. Before we go, let's take a look at our notes on the right. Suppose the function f is invertible and maps x to y, such that f of x equals y. The inverse function, denoted using this notation here, is a related function that maps y back to x. f inverse of y equals x. We often say a function and its inverse undo each other. We don't want to confuse f inverse of y with f inverse of x, Sometimes we'll use both. f inverse of y equals x, where y is the input and x is the output. And for f inverse of x equals y, x is the input and y is the output. Both functions do undo the original function f of x, but again, one's a function of y and one's a function of x. For f of x and f inverse of y, the x and y values remain the same. 
for f of x and f inverse of x, the x and y values are interchanged. The outputs of f of x, which are y, are reassigned to x and become the input for f inverse of x. And then finally below, we have the relationship which we discovered in our problem. The slopes of the tangent lines and derivative function values of f of x and f inverse of x are reciprocals of one another at corresponding points. So if we have f of a equals b, then f inverse of b equals a, and f inverse prime of b is equal to one divided by f prime of a. Again, the slopes or derivative function values are reciprocals at the corresponding points. I hope you found this helpful.